morning my lovely Sandra here and welcome back to my channel and as you can see from today's episode I've been doing some yeah wait a minute let me just adjust um first off let's show you what I'm wearing today because I do have some new pants so I'll just step back These are just pants from Walmart, they're from the junior section um, and they're the little flares, they, I think they have them every year and I noticed that they had in a double XL pair yesterday and I just thought well okay we'll just give them a try and they, they're quite nice, the flare on the bottom, I'm scratching, <laughs> this, the flare on the bottom isn't that wide but they, they do fit nice on my legs and they feel very comfortable so they're a winner for me and that is not what today's episode is about um i'm wearing my silk split mew which i've just put little knots in <laughs> today's is about a canther split mew and this was the first one i bought and I bleached the colour out. It wasn't quite the colours that I liked at the time. So I bleached the colours out. Um, it took three bleaches and then I just added a bunch of different sort of pinky colours to get the colour I liked. And then she sat in my wardrobe and then I tried trading her on the besties page and didn't get, you know, much interest. But I love it. <laughs> I love the design on it. And the pockets, I think originally they were black, anyhow. So the reason I haven't been wearing my Canther Split Mew is because I love them, but they're longer and then unless I belt it up, I feel that it sort of juts out at the back a little bit, a little bit, um, a bit like this one. The silk ones aren't as bad, but this one, it bothered me and it shouldn't because that's how they're supposed to be worn, but I just didn't feel comfortable. And then at one day I saw the, the little cropped OGs and I have traded with someone to get one, to try one, but I think the crop's going to be quite cropped on me and I still want something to cover You know, I still want something long enough just to cover bits. So I think the crop will serve a purpose or over a dress or something. But I, I can't keep spending money and money and money. You know, cause we don't have it. So, and I thought about trading to try and get a tunic, a one size tunic. And I thought, what if it, that doesn't fit? What if that doesn't fit under the arms? I don't know. So little light bulb went off in my head I got these scissors that have serrations on and I did it um, and what I did was I made it longer than a crop well I only took two inches off first so what I did was I made sure it was because it's a square at the end of the day I just made sure that the bottom was completely straight and then I snipped off to uh, you know about actually about that much and then I went up a little bit more and it doesn't matter if it's not um, perfect it doesn't have to be perfect it's just you know how you want to wear it and I want mine to fray more and I didn't put you know you can put a top stitch across it I didn't want any of that I just want it to be a nice bohemian kind of look so I thought I would, sh I would try it on and show you the length of it. Um, what do you think, guys? <laughs> Crazy or what? Give me a sec. 
I've been working on uh, doing exercises for my rotator cuff so hoping it's not as bad as it's been and it's you know it is what it is okay what I like about this this top first off what I like about these dresses obviously the fabric I like that it has a v-neck and I like that the underarms here are long enough that accommodate you know the fat there but they're not too long that you it shows everything underneath does that make any sense so it's it's a good it's a good width there so if you have um a little bit more fuller arms and a little bit more fuller here you definitely got the width of it the back is a little v but the v here is nice and long i always wear a tank but if you you know if you if you want to be more modest you can wear a round neck which would be great these are great layering pieces and i love the pockets in them and now i know you want me to step back because you're like well let's have a look then <laughs> if that's what you're talking about um so let's let's do it Two things to note if you decide to go this route and do yourself like a longer tunic. Because I, to be honest, since I've done this, I haven't stopped wearing it. It's my go-to. I have to get changed during the day because I get hot. I get hot anyway, but I get hot. And I just throw this on. I don't even wear a tank. I just throw this on and leave it on with my boy shorts, which is great. Uh, I love that the slit at the front... So if you have a more fuller tummy or if you are, you know, suffer with your, your, suffer with your tummy as I do, you've got that open slit. It'll be an optical delusion. If you measure it properly at the bottom and you get it straight, it'll be an optical illusion to the eye that it will look like one side is a little bit higher than the other that's just an optical illusion because the way this sits on your body when you cut something like this straight it is straight but then depending on the curves on your body it's going to lift in some areas and lie flatter in other areas if that makes any sense so obviously the back is going to be shorter because I you know I cut it straight across and then when you pop it on it's going to be a little bit shorter if you want it longer just make sure you leave an extra one inch at the bottom just to make that a little bit longer and then i'll show you these here so here is where you may see an optical delusion it might look like they don't match they do when you take them off and if you were i mean you could cut it but you know it's okay isn't it just get rid of that Um, plenty of space with these dresses anyway plenty of width I have found that with this canther fabric um, the more you wash them the softer they get I've certainly found that if you give it a bleach bath it seems to soften it up even more. I'm not suggesting you have to do that, but that is what happened with this one. It was quite a stiff one when I got it, and I did bleach it, like I say, and coloured it, and it came out these fabulous colours that match everything. So I, there's something about that process that seems to soften it up a lot, and it really is a softer fabric. It's very nice to have on. Um, and I know with the current launch, there were some, you know, the OG tops. And I was like, gosh, I want one. I want one so bad. Um, and luckily, I have traded with someone. But I'm getting to the point where I love everything I've got. And I'm running out of trades. And uh, I didn't want to trade for a, uh, a tunic, a canther tunic. Like I say, just in, just in case. It was just a... You know, after, after that high-low 
silk vest long vesty thing I had such um, trouble with that fitting under here um, that I was disappointed and I know you haven't seen that video because my iPad did not record both those videos <laughs> so it's probably best you didn't see me crying however because that they catered for it around the chest but they didn't cater under here they didn't make this long enough let me just so that's why I felt that um, I would adjust a piece that I already have that I'm not wearing and that's why I decided to do this one and I was nervous doing it I'm not gonna lie I was nervous doing it and I thought oh I'm gonna ruin it but now actually I wear this one more so this is a greater length for me I love the split up the front uh, I'm glad it doesn't have the split oh, oh no it did one minute oh no it did have the split up the side <laughs> I'm terrible at doing these um what I did was I just sewed up both the both sides because the split mew was open both sides and so I sewed them up just a quick tack all the way down so now it is like a top but just with a split at the front which is what I wanted I, and the split's perfect it's it comes at a great length and yeah what do you think guys I really like it and um I'm like I say I haven't stopped wearing it when I got these pants uh, yesterday I couldn't wait to do this video I thought it'd be great showing uh, these pants with the top and the pants should be in your current Walmart at the moment um, just to pick up from the junior section So that was my thing and I've been seeing on the bestie site all the, the BST page some people have been wanting to trade things in and I just sometimes I look at them and I think well maybe if you just um, they're, they're doing the new romper at the moment which looks nice the patterns are nice but the romper's not for me but I've been seeing them and I thought well if you just snipped off that little bit of bottom there that makes it a romper you could just have a nice long top couldn't you? And then I've, I've also seen some of the, it's like a onesie, like women are selling the onesies. And I thought, uh, I thought, and because the bottom bit of it is quite low, I thought, well, why don't they just snip off that bottom where the legs are and just have like a little dress, you know, if it's just a suggestion, if you can't, if you can't sell something and it's sitting in your closet and for some reason you don't, you know, you, you either can't sell it or you don't like it for some reason i would think just snip off the bottom and make it something make it something different you don't have to if you're not good at sewing don't sew it um you know that's i mean that's what this lifestyle is about it's about it's about just wearing nice things that make you feel comfortable and loose and flowy but nothing has to be perfect you know the beauty is in the imperfection really that's why we buy the clothes there are imperfections throughout the fabric in some of them and that's the beauty of it you know that I find most imperfections beautiful and everything <sighs> I've waffled but at least I haven't burped oh, no, just looking at my cat so yeah so that was my I don't know what I'm going to title this video but what I that's just something that I did I know I probably won't be able to sell this top um, again because I've altered it. I don't know, may, maybe, maybe not. I'm not planning on doing that because I do love it. So if you do decide to do something drastic like bleaching uh, a canther item out and cutting it and that, just know that, yeah, you're probably not going to be able to sell it. But if it's something, if you love the, the, the pattern anyway and it fits you well, you're just not wearing it, it just might give you a different look. You know, and it just, you might wear it then. Like I say, this is my afternoon top. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm waiting for another one of these dresses that I traded to come in and I'm, I might do the same thing with that. It looks beautiful as a dress, like I say, but I, I might just have to do it so I can just wear it to my comfort 
because it is longer than an OG tarp. Like I say, I think if you've already have one of the tunics, that's great. If you don't, and for some reason you, you know, your budget's limited like mine, you know, I'll, I had to close my business. I don't have the money coming in. So if if your money is very limited and you've, you've run out of clothes to sell, which is how I originally invested in these, I sold most of my um, closet um, items on Poshmark to to cater for these. So if you're at that point where you're like, I don't have any money left and blah, 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 then maybe look at creating something of your own you know, utilising it, seeing, seeing what you can do. It's uh, the first time you do it, it's scary. Like I say, if you're going to start chopping, only take off a small amount to start off with. Try it on. Um, <clears throat> try it on for fit. Go back, take your time, chop off another, another couple of inches and do it that way and then the excess fabric you have left you can always use to make a headscarf or something I've got excess fabric left I haven't decided yet but I've waffled on far too much on this video my cat's passed out from my talking so at least she's not harassing me and let me know what you think do you think this is a great idea <laughs> oh. anyhow guys that's me waffling for today. I don't think I've got anything else to talk about today. In the meantime, thank you for watching. If you liked my video today, a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, there's a subscribe button down there you can press. And I will talk to you all again soon, my lovelies. Yeah. Bye.